biography that he was writing. He, he wrote a book. It's called the the uh, the story of melting. I don't remember his okay. name. Yes, not very famous. And in that time, they basically cut his legs, arms, and head. <laughs> from they act, cut. Yeah, from act of love. <laughs> They just made sure that all his body parts are cut. And he left this piece, masterpiece, and he, it was called the story of melting. Asipochel. And who was melting is what I was born thinking to be me was melting into the real me, which is not a concept, not an idea, not, not, not a thought, not a physical. Therefore, the melting is what's important and that's what lives you as yourself. The reason why yourself, its natural being is identifying itself with itself as itself. What happens when it is trapped in thought, the same identity has moved into the thought. So now that identity which is the natural state of who I am moved into the thought, so the same natural identity is in the thought like I am that thought now it's so hard, I say, how would I get rid of this identity? You can't. It's impossible. When you see that what you thought is you, is not you, is not real, the identity just, the attachment to it, drops. because the mind is looking for the truth. So if it thinks that the thought is true, it gets attached to it. When it sees it is not true, it cannot get attached to it. It doesn't. It doesn't get attached. The attention, what happens? We draw. So let's say you have a thought that Let's say you had the thought, you were very young, you needed a pacifier. A what? Pacifier, motzets. Ima sheli mesaperet she shikhdu uti kashot bishvili pater ma motzets. Okay? I got attached to that, no? I got attached to that pacifier. Now, if you were attached to anything like that, now try to get attached to it. Why wouldn't you get attached to a pacifier now? What is pacifier? <laughs> well, when baby. baby. Ah, my nipple. No, the... Ah, the, today I love the nipple, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Artificial. Artificial, Artificial nipple, it's, it's okay. What's, what's natural today, it's from silicone yes. and all kind of things they put in the baby's yeah. mouth. And, <coughs> yeah? Yeah. Like that. and it slips, it's quiet. Yeah. <laughs> if I got a, when I was a baby, <laughs> the shutdown. Put it in the mouth of the baby. Shut up. Shut up. Yes. <laughs> we can see that I attached, I got attached to it. How come I'm not attached to it today? So the first step, I recognize it's not necessary and it doesn't serve me anymore. Isn't it? I'm not, it doesn't serve me. If I would see when I am attached to a particular idea and it doesn't serve me anymore, 
I would, I would just leave it alone. When I would leave it alone and not be interested, I won't be attached to it anymore. That's one way. And when I see, when I identify with the thought and I examine if the thought is real, when I see it's not real, I see it's not real, how can it serve me? I'm not interested in it. And if I see the defects of it, it's even better. Means if I see that when I get attached to it, it causes me so much pain, emotionally, physically, anxiety, fears, dissatisfaction, anger, sadness, depression. Yeah? Then I would say, okay, how long am I going to be addicted to it? But this is what happens with addictions. Yeah, yet if I see that the addiction doesn't serve and it is destructive. Yes, but, uh, and here I cannot even consider the image of me. Hmm? In the image of yeah. me, the attachment. Yeah. Yeah. Ultimately, it's that which stays there. For the, me, maybe. The, <laughs> thing, the thing is, no, that's not ultimately. What stays is who you are. It's not the conceptual image. You just have to go into the button of no, it. No, I said as an image, not yeah. as a true self. Yeah. The thing is, when you examine your, the thoughts, which you thought are yours, and that you, it means you and the thoughts are the same. This is identification. Once you examine it and you see that it's not real, the next thing that happens, it subsides. The process. When it subsides, if before another thought appears, you remain. This is when the revelation begins. You, the awakening is that you are that which remains. Then, as it's more being recognized, then the space grows, except the space never grows, less occupied of this false identification appears, right? There are more space of yourself. What is more? The feeling of the thoughts. Huh? There is less feeding of the thoughts. By... Yeah. Once you experience who you are, then you derive your identity from who? What's derived? Until I die completely to myself, yeah, there can stay something. Yet you never die into yourself because who you think you are never really existed. Only the attachment, like for myself what I said, like the image of this body. But I see that because I am, I am angry, there is an anger, like a blaming of believing in a body and then because believing in it, getting angry plus. <laughs> so this creates more and more, for how I see it, difficulty in uh, realizing that it is not true. Right. Because when there is anger, which is desire and anger, they go together, which are the activity of the mind, which we would call them rajasic, activity, ch -ch -ch, more active, that means more dense. More dense means more real, objective, objective. The chus, the chus, kaas. That's why then one has to clear that one. They have to clear it. Because as they clear it, it doesn't pull the density. Now, it's not completely accurate because the idea that you have to clear it is a false notion. Because if you be less interested in thoughts, because you come to see that it's not real and it's not true and it's just an image of you, and you start to recognize who you are, 
you start derive Vish'o, the identity from you as you. When the thoughts that you would identify, including the anger, would capture your attention, yet they would not be perpetuated as long as you do not react to it. And the way you don't react to it is when you can be with that. And if you start to understand the biggest secret is that from the point of view of awareness, you can watch everything. Because it doesn't touch you. Right? So you can be with everything. Then the desire of wanting it to be different melts away. This is where the vasanas, the habits, are burning out. Can you say it again? Because this is the big secret, so I <laughs> <laughs> The big secret is that if you can stay <clears throat> if you, you realize that you are always aware and from that awareness witness whatever arises you can handle anything and that the witness has no desire therefore there is no desire for it to be different means there is no resistance no judgment then this habit when it appears whether it's an anger as a way as a bodily sensation whether it's reactivity in the mind it just appears and it dissolves I call it bye-bye, gone, <laughs> finished. If I react to it, I feed it. Yes. I don't want it. I don't like it. There is a separate entity that is in relationship with it. And that relationship mostly is war. Because I want something else and I don't want this. War. And it can be very slight war and can be fourth world war. It doesn't matter. It's still a war. Conflict. You mean. Yes. Two sides fighting. Yes. Therefore, a very mm. simple practice, practical, is catch any time you're in conflict. If you're in conflict, just watch it. Don't feed it. Don't try not to be in conflict. Watch the conflict carefully. Watch it. But the conflict is, it has a temptation to to say to the awareness. Come how you watch a conflict without? Hey, please uh, feed me. How you watch the conflict without interfering? How you do it in practice? You don't do it. You are watching always. You yeah. you are looking from awareness at the conflict, isn't it? Yes. The question was, how I do it in my life? You can't. But you say, watch it and don't interfere. Because what that's you your natural it? state of being. You cannot... You, you say, how can I do it? Yes. <laughs> I say, you're looking from at the one who's trying to do it. It's the conflict. Then I give you practice. Yes. I give you lots of practices until you get so tired of practice. <laughs> I, want to I give you 